Thank you. My name is Natalie Matsky, and I will first be playing the Swallow Till Jig. <laughs> County down. I'll be playing right here, boy, or also known as Beggar Boy. playing is South Wind.
Andy Hinsman from a little town north here called Wanamingo. And uh, in the 1850s, Stephen Foster was a very prolific songwriter and uh, wrote more than 200 songs. But uh, tragically, he died young and, and pretty much penniless. You might know a lot of his, uh, probably one of the more famous ones was Camp Town Races and uh, Jeannie with the light brown hair. But he also did this one called Hard Times Come Again No More.
That was Francis Mendenhall. This is called uh, Tying Knots in the Devil's Tail. Way, way high up in the side repeats where the yellow pines grow tall. Rusty Jigs and Sandy Sam had a roundup camp last fall. They took their ponies and their running irons and maybe a dog or two. They allowed they'd brand every lop-eared calf that run within their view. Now there's many a long-eared doggie didn't hush up by day. Had his old hide scorched and his old ears whittled in a most artistic way. Well, says Rusty Jigs to Sandy Sam as he throwed his cigar down. I'm tired of cowboyography. I allows I'm a going to town. So they saddles him up, hits him a lope, for it weren't no sight of a ride. Them was the days when an old cow punch could oil up his dry insides. Well, they starts her out at the Kentucky bar at the head of the whiskey road. Winds her up at the depot house, some 40 drinks below. And then they sets him up, turns her around, and goes her the other way. And to tell you the godforsaken truth, them boys got drunk that day. a pretty good load. Who should they meet but the devil himself come prancing down the road? Well, the devil says, you cowboy skunks, you better go hunt your hole. I just come up from Hell's Rim Rock to gather in your soul. Says Rusty Jigs, we're just from town and feeling kind of tight. But you ain't gonna get no cowboy soul without some kind of a fight. So he built a hole in his old throw rope Throwed her straight and true. Roped the devil around the horns and he taken his dallies true. Well, Sandy Sam was a Riata man with his gut line coiled up neat. He took her down, shook out a loop and roped the devil's hind feet. And then they throwed him down on the desert ground while the irons was getting hot. They cropped and swallowed, forked his ears, branded him up a lot. And then they pruned him up with a dehorning saw, tied knots in his tail for a joke. Went off, left him, color and there, necked up to a black jack oak. So if you're ever up in the sire repeats and you hear one hell of a wail, you know it's nothing but the devil himself a raising hell about the knots in his tail. enjoying this so far? Yes. So um, often there are other categories and so before we go on to the acoustic instruments which aren't necessarily going to be fiddle, uh, some, uh, last year they had a Civil War song category. And How many of you guys were alive during the Civil War? Some of you look old but not that old. Come on up kids. I'm going to be playing Johnny Goes Marching.
volunteer. I'm George Roberts. I live in Bloomington, Minnesota. And what I'm playing here is what's called the hammer dulcimer, which is an instrument that's about roughly 2,000 years old. Originated in uh, Syria and Mesopotamia, something like that, and eventually got to the US. And I'm going to be playing two different tunes first one is called Yellow Rose of Texas, but it's not the one that you might have heard by Mitch Miller in the 50s. This was actually written probably 1850 or so, originally written by a black American, and the reference to the Yellow Rose is, is a light-colored black person. And then the other tune I'm going to play is called Midnight on the Water. So first, um, Yellow Rose of Texas. Next tune is called Midnight on the Water.
talking about the guys back in the hills. They got a little business going there, you know. It's called moonshining. <laughs> well, the girl, man, <laughs> 